Hi everybody, my name's Hvrlair32 and um, I'm probably better known for my Project Zomboid Let's Plays but due to Project Zomboid I'm currently going through a bit of an upheaval and no new updates, I'm going to have a go at this game um, Infested Planet This is a game by Rocket Bear and the developer is Alex Vostrock um, based in Canada I believe and um, it's just been released um, a couple of days ago, it's in beta and um, I've had a, a fair few goes and I must admit it's certainly good fun, it's got something going for it so I thought a let's play would help to to get the name out there a little bit okay so this is the main start screen, it's, um, there's no bells or whistles it's um, as I say in beta so things will change gradually over the next couple of months I would guess So first thing, look at the options. It runs in various resolutions. I'm going to run 1024 by 768. It has also got full screen. And so far I've only had one um, slight hiccup um, where it crashed on me and apart from that there's been no foreseeable bugs. Okay, let's go. Um, as you play the game you start off with tutorial basics, combat and then in between each tutorial level a skirmish map appears and the skirmish maps are the, the randomly generated levels so each time you play the skirmish maps you gain a different game and each skirmish map actually adds more to the game. The grotto I tried last night and I really really found it difficult to start with I found it quite easy but as I moved up, up, the, <laughs> up the different game levels so I'm not going to play on the higher levels purely because I can't commentate and concentrate on what I'm doing so I'm going to go for let's have a look um, ooh, I don't know the caves I'm going to go for tunnels because I think it will be a good one to show you um, and the way the game works as you complete levels you get money so for this particular level I get twenty thousand dollars and that allows you to buy research items I've maxed out pretty much all the research items apart from the one here, Smart Mines which I should be able to get shortly, I need forty five thousand and I've only got thirteen and a thousand just over left okay so let's go for it okay here we go let's pause while we have a look at the screen. So as I said before it, it randomly creates the level for you um, and what the game is basically about, if anyone's seen Starship Troopers it, uh, it might ring a bell there because what you're looking at is a small group of marines five all together, you can see they're my marines and aliens and each of these is a nest of aliens with various other objects on there but let's um, we'll move on to those shortly so starting at the top of the screen we've got build points just up here and they allow you to to as the name suggests build and also improve certain things we've got a line here which is a yellow line and what that is is ammo various different upgrades require ammo and you can also get more ammo as, you, as the game progresses we start off with all five marines with rifles which is the lowest uh, weapon level and we can specialise these different marines in different areas and down here we've got our build, train and research options so let's get started so the first thing you need to do is decide based on the map layout what we're going to do now if I unpause what we should start doing, yep there we go it's a few aliens moving from this one here coming to have a look at us a few from that one, a few from this one, so we've got three of them coming at us now I'm thinking we'll try and take out the one down here so from our first base all five marines will quite easily keep control and what we can do we can either upgrade them so if I select all five and train we can have a rifle which we've already got so that doesn't cost anything we can make a medic and helps to heal units. Fusion shotgun which is the next level up on um, 
the weapon side. Flamethrow is a fantastic close quarters um, cr crowd clearing weapon. The minigun, which is another fantastic weapon, in fact one of the best weapons in the game. And we've also got snipers, which help to take out turrets, which we'll come across later in the game. The armory menu, this is we've got a shield protector which so projector which basically projects a shield around our units and we take less damage. Um, the shield is gradually um, reducing size as it gets damaged. We've got mortars which are fantastic um, for taking out large groups. Um, it says they're in range for they shoot duplicate grenade throws in range for free or shoot. They're on concussion grenades but they've got a, a large dead zone so they're not much good. If you're looking at um, attacks from a, f a 360 degree um, radius, we've then got the turrets, which are fantastic. So I'm going to build the turret, and what I'm going to do is, as you can see, the red circle covers where the turret is going to cover. Now I'm hoping that this turret is going to if I pop it there. It needs to be built by a, a marine. You can see the build progress, and that, that turret, I'm hoping, will keep our first base while we're going to take this one out. Okay, so 10 build points, let's leave it at that. I think the rifles should, shouldn't have any trouble here. So we've got options to assault and we've got grenades. So let's move our marines forward. It's a, it's a straightforward RTS. Select, and right click and we'll move forward. And as they get into range, so as we move forward if you hold your mouse over any unit, or any enemy units that have got ranged weapons, you'll be able to see a ranged. Now, we've actually got poison spitters here, so I'm going to use some grenades. If I get the grenade, specify whereabouts it's going to be, and they'll go in and you should take out the um, spitters. And this is the main base here, which isn't going to last long. I think we're going to see it go up in flames. And this one here, is a um, spawner. So if we take the spawner out, no more aliens will spawn. And now our first base is still fine. You can see this one's now coming to have a look at us. So the AI um, is quite clever, but we're safe here. So we've moved on to there, down to the um, the hexagon shape in the middle there. We've captured the point, and we've gained eight more build points. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is gradually move up the map, I think, taking out each one. This yellow object here is an ammo, so you can see we use grenades. So if I grab a sh soldier and we right click on there, he'll walk over and he'll start getting grenades and start putting the number there. It'll increase. Okay, doesn't take too long. There we go. Once he's done that, what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to leave one marine here, and while that marine, we're going to go and take out this base here. So let's go for assault this time. So instead of a turret, he's going to be able to guard. But we'll also put these, change these units here into fusion shotgun, which is a, a much more powerful weapon. So all we do is select it, and there we go. We've got three, sorry, four fusing the shotguns which will help take that out. And the other thing we can do actually, let's get this one taken first of all. So I appreciate this is actually an extremely easy level with the high level of um, research I've actually done. And there we go. One lone alien who's so we've now got three bases. Yeah, what was mentioned before, what I can do here, because we've upgraded our marines to fusion, which is a higher level, we can actually use plasma grenades, which means we get free grenades effectively. But I'm actually going to go for regeneration. It's six build points, and what that does, it allows our soldiers and you and any bit any structures we, we build to regenerate, so we'll go for that. That leaves us with four. Um, 
Now this base here is going to be pretty safe now. What we can do is, if I move this guy forward, if we select that minigun there, and we can build... Oops, we haven't got enough build points, we need to... Yeah, so if we select that minigun there, we can actually recycle it, which means we get the build points back. And I'm going to position this minigun there. I can't see too many aliens getting through that gap. Certainly not as we move forward. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yes, what's happened now? We've actually got some mines. So all hives are surrounded by proximity mines. Uh, what that means is, before we can actually take the bases, we need to take out the mines. And the beauty of this game is, as we take bases, they'll mutate. There'll be all sorts of different mutations, which um, can cause no end of problems on higher levels. Okay, so we need to... There's two extremely close together here, so what I'm going to do is take out this one up here instead. So again, we're going to leave our, our lone rifleman. So we've got to get through the minefield. So what they'll do as they move forward, they'll take out the mines. We've got a mini base here, let's take this one out as well. They've got a melee attack as you get close. I think we're going to need the grenades here. As you can see, the fusion, fusion shotgun's much better. Let's take out that. There we go. Yeah, what we've got here is a crate which allows us, we can drag that to it to a base once we've taken it over and it'll give us some extra build points now this particular one is surrounded by spawners these can be quite difficult, certainly with lower lower level units, but I think we're going to be okay yeah, see I'll make sure he's doing okay yep, oh, didn't realise we had him as well ah, he's fine, these guys have done alright here forward. This base should be gone shortly. There we go. Not sure why they're walking into danger and not doing what they should be doing. That could be a beta issue. As I say, it's in beta so there will be things which you need balancing and improving. Um, but so far I've really enjoyed playing the game. Okay, there we go. Eight more build points. So we've now taken four alien bases. No more mutations. Let's go and grab that. So if we take one unit, right click, he'll run over to it. Should be okay. I don't think he's going to need too much cover. And then right click on the base and it slows him down and it'll drag it back. And that gives us more build points to use. And I'm going to try and make something that we haven't seen so far. So there we go, 15 build points. What can we do with that? Okay, let's go for the plasma grenades. That's always good. And it'd be nice to, if we protect this base here with a turret, something like that. Didn't really want him to go. You can stay there. This guy here can make a turret. There we go. And we'll move up here and take these now. Okay, let's move forward. grenades we don't so we, we actually get free grenades now which is fantastic because it means we can take out as you can see the three in the grenades we should be able to really and this one that we took before here 
pretty safe once we've taken this base. Rifleman's doing a good job as well, leave him there. Good stuff. Just target the um, spawn at the back there. Take that out and then take out that one there. Poison tail. A few well placed grenades. There we go. Okay. Now take that base. So that leaves us with three bases to go. And eight build points. And if we mutate it again, we've got regeneration. So basically that means that the actual hives that still exist can heal nearby in aliens and structures. Just makes it a little harder to take some of the level some of the um, bases. Okay, points, what can we get for that? So we could get reinforcements. I might try this dispersal. A mortar. I've not seen a mortar, let's put this set a mortar up. Now we can set one here because the blind spot's gonna be behind it, so if I set one up there. Let's get some of these guys moving out. Got to watch the mines. Oh dear. <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. We ended up losing um, one of our marines. Let's go over here. a unit, all that happens, you'll actually um, respawn. It's dead at the moment. You should respawn at a close base. And there he is. Okay, let's get him forward here. see the base here is healing. So there's our mortar. What should happen? It should help us take out some of the great. I think we just lost it. Ready. Oh, let's just go for it. that. So, these guys are getting attacked by the um, poison, which can become quite difficult to deal with. Especially not everybody's doing what I'm telling them to do. Regenerating this um, as you can see the mutation is, is regenerating all the um, so we need to try and take the base out if we can. But to do that we're gonna get injured here. Okay. I'll tell you what, let's put a turret down. It'll help out there we are, we took it out. I'm going to actually end part one there and um, the reason being uh, I don't want my videos to be much longer than 20 minutes I think people prefer that sort of length in, in time so let's pause there um, as you can see we've actually got a problem here this central hive here is taking this one we didn't leave it very well protected but that's not a problem we're going to we'll, we'll sort it out in a in part two um, hope you enjoyed that if you want to get hold of the game it's um, a company called Rocket Bear 
search for that on the internet or infested planet I'll put a link in with the description of the video and like I said, I'm going to finish this one on the next episode which I guess will probably be about 10 minutes long maybe maybe a bit longer depending on how it goes okay well thanks very much my name's Hoverlayer32 and thanks very much for watching